Hey everyone! Thanks so much for tuning into the Bianca Bombshell YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this quick and easy uh, pin-up girl hairstyle. All you need for this look is hairspray and bobby pins, a bandana of your choice, any color will do, and just a wee little bit of pin-up girl patience. So what you want to do to start is you want to take the first portion of your hair, like the bang area, about this much just enough to kind of go on both sides and for this it doesn't really matter if it's perfect but if you want to just take a bobby pin or the back of a comb and just carve it out the shape that you're going to try and go for is a triangle from there to there so from this side I'll do the same thing kind of split that over So now my hair has a nice line, and that is my kitten right behind me. Okay, so from here, what you want to do, I like to roll upwards. So I'll just tilt the camera really quick up high. So from here, I take it and wrap it around my thumb. Now this little excess, you just wrap it around and tuck it in there. Now see how all my hair is flying down? All you do is just grab it like that. Now from here, you want to take your thumb out of there. So now there's a roll you can see right through. You want to roll it towards your head like this. Now from here, I like to just tilt it to the side. It's really simple. Just tilt it. And then always keeping your finger inside the roll like this. You want to just put a bobby pin like that. All right, so now you have the first section of your hair done. Now this is just for styling. You're not actually going to keep it like this. So just a little bit of hairspray to keep it in place. And then you want to do the rest. So what you want to do, depending on the style, I'm going to show you how to do the bandana today. So what we're going to do is you just take this portion of your hair, the side, Make it all nice and smooth. So a little bit of hairspray. And then with this hair, what you want to do is you want to twist. Just like this. Twist it into place. Then you want to take one of your bobby pins, preferably one of the long, the longest ones. And then you want to pin it and go up along side of it towards the top of your skull. It's really important to never let go, for one, and to always hide your bobby pins. You don't want people seeing the bobby pins in your hair. That's not very attractive. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to secure this bobby pin with another bobby pin. And you want to cross it over so it's crisscrossed. You've got one going this direction and one going the other direction. Just give it a nice spray. Okay. Hairspray is your friend if you're a pinup girl. I know it's aerosol and it's not the best, but it is what the, they used to use back in the day. So this is what you want. So now for the bandana look, you do the same thing to the other side. I come up and I curl, or twist rather, not curl, sorry, twist. And I'm gonna come back with my long bobby pin. And I want to do the same thing to this side. I want to pin it going upwards, if I can get the bobby pin. <clears throat> the same thing to this side. You want to pin it just like that. And that's going upwards towards the head. And then you want to take your smaller bobby pin, just this size here, 
and then you want to cross it over just like I did on the other side. Now I'm going to put my hair in a bandana so it doesn't really matter that this is puffy but if I was doing another look where I wanted it to be perfect I could just flatten that over and then retighten it up a little bit. Okay. So now that your hair is up and pinned on both sides and you have your front curl temporarily there you want to take a hair tie and grab the remainder of all your hair. Now from here, I'll just do a quick little brush at the back to make sure it's all soft. I shake it as high as I possibly can. And then from here, I'll twist it around, twist the hair. As flat as I pos as flat as I possibly can, and I make a bun. And I take my hair tie, and I secure it around the bottom. And I just take a few bobby pins, and then I secure the bun. If you have a whole bunch of hair like is sticking up here, just press it down and then pin it in. So just a few more bobby pins to secure it. You want to try and get it as flat on your head as possible. Okay, so that's pretty flat. So now what you want to do is just um, secure the back. See how I have a little bit of a poof there. I just want to kind of secure that so it's nice and tight with a bobby pin Then give it a spray all around the edges. Okay, so now comes the bandana. So with the bandana, what you want to do is you want to put it into a half. So this is a full bandana. You want to make it into a triangle, just like this. Now, for this look, what I'm going to do is I want to cover my entire head. So if I were to take the bandana and tie it like this, I would have this huge chunk that wouldn't be covered. So in order to fix that, all you have to do is just, oops, all you have to do is just go like this, like that, okay? And then make sure that this little fold is on the inside, of course. And then tuck it in around the bottom, just like that. Okay, so now you have all this axis fabric up here that you can mold and play with. So what you want to do now from this point is always holding on to the two tips. You want to find the other edge. And you want to kind of put it right underneath. Now these two flaps, what you want to do is tuck it under. Just stuff it in there. And then what you want to do is you want to just do a, a quick tie. Now I have all this excess that's just sticking out, so I just take that and then I tuck it under the bandana. So you always do a double tie just to make sure it's nice and tight. And one thing I like to make sure I always do to keep it in place is take two bobby pins, preferably the longest ones that you can find, and then you're going to want to take it and pin your hair and the bandana going upwards. Going upwards so it's secure. Now that's not going to go anywhere. Now what you want to do is you want to take out the bobby pin from this roll at the front. You want to bring it forward and just give it a quick brush. 
Now there's a lot of things you can do with this piece of hair. You can do a suicide roll, you can do two rolls, you can do three rolls, but I like to do just a simple, simple roll. And if you come and you see me at my job, chances are this is the hairstyle I'm rocking. I do this every day. Okay, now for this, now that your hair is more nice and pre-curled and preset, you just do the same way that we curled it at the beginning. Just twist it around your thumb really, really gently. And then pull, pull your thumb out of there so you have a nice clean roll. And then just bring it down. Now from here, you can go to this side and you can pin it or you can go to the other side like this and then pin it. Personally, I'm a, I'm a fan of going to this side. I just think it's more flattering for my face. And from here, you want to try and use as little amount of bobby pins as you can, but you want to just tuck the pin up in there. All the while, you never want to let go of the middle of your curl. Okay, so now I've got this little piece here. I'll just fix that with some spray. Now I do need a couple other bobby pins because it is loose. See how it's loose there? It's not coming it through, or it's going to come out rather. So what you want to do is just push it back. Now because my hair is brown, these bobby pins hide quite nicely, but when you're blonde, this takes a little bit of finesse. Now the most important thing to do is spray the roll. If you've got some good spray, this roll isn't moving all day long. Now this little thing is bugging me though. Okay, so now you're sprayed into place. You have your bandana look, it's ready to go. There you go, now you're a pinup girl.